Hi viewers, I hope you all are doing fine. Today we will find square root using division method. So let's solve the given questions one by one. So this is the first question. 276,676. So we have to find out of the let's find out the square root of the given number. So let's pair the first step to find out the square root is using division method is we have to pair the numbers. So pairing we will start from right side. So we'll pair this 27 as one pair, 66 as another pair, and 76 as the third pair. So 26, 66, and 76 are our three pairs. We have to always pair the numbers. From right side now we have to take out the largest number closest to uh, largest whole number if we multiply one largest whole number with itself we have to get a number closest to 27 but not more than 27 so which number is closest to 27 in squares let's take 5 because 5 5 is 25 25 is the closest number to 27 in squares. So 25 minus 20, sorry, 27 minus 25 gives you 2. Now let's take a, the second pair down. The second pair is 66. So let's take 66 down. You have to take a pair and not single digit. Now the next step is we will double the quotient. If we double, the, not, there is nothing. Simple step is to double the quotient, we will multiply the given quotient with 2. So 5 is our quotient. We will multiply it with 2. So 5 2s are gives you 10. So let's write here 10. Now 10. These are 3. Here we have 3 digits and here we have 2 digits. So definitely it's not going to go. So we will add one more digit and we will multiply the, the same digit here. With the quotient we have to get. Two, we have to get a number closest to 266 but not exceeding 266. So now let, let's think of a number. Let's take 2, right? Because see 102, 102 into 2 gives you 204 which is closest to 266. See if we take 103 into 3, we will exceed 266. So let's not take 3 and, and instead of 3, we will take 2. I will subtract 204 minus 266 gives you 62. Now let's bring the third pair down. Third pair is 76. Now 6276, right? Now we'll take the same here. The 10 here. We'll copy the same 10 here. Now here we have two digits and here we have four digits. Now the next step is we have to double this quotient, right? If we double the quotient, what did I tell? We, to double the quotient, we'll, co we'll multiply quotient with 2. So 2 into 2 gives you 4. So 1 not 4. Now here we have 3 digits and here we have 4 digits. So that's not going to go. So we'll add one more digit to make if, to get 6276. So now think of a number. If we multiply with itself, we have to get this. So 1 not 4, what will we put here to get 6276? Let's put 5. 1045 into 5. So the same 5, 5, 5 1, no, 1045 into 5 gives you 6276. So that's all. If we subtract both, we'll get 0 as our answer, 0 as our remainder. So our quotient here is 5, 525. So therefore, the square root of 276,000. 676 is the final answer is 525 therefore now let's solve the second question let's bring this four four thousand four hundred and eighty nine here now let's the first step is pairing it from right side so we'll pair this number from right side this is one pair and this is the second pair now let's square a number simple right 44 and 89 let's take a number closest to 44 which which in, in tables which is closest to 44 in squares 6 right because 6 6 are 36 so 36 minus 44 gives you 8 now bring the second pair down 8 89 now th we'll double the quotient if we double the quotient 6 into 2 6 twos are 12. So 12 here we'll get. Here we have 2 digits and here we have 3 digits. It will never go. So 12. Which number we will add? 
we'll multiply with which number sorry which number if we multiply we have to get the exact 889 so let's take 127 127 into 7 gives you 889 now we will subtract 889 minus 889 remainder is 0 so our final answer is 67 let's put down here the square root of 4489 is 67 is our final answer now let's solve the third question our question here is we have to find out the square root of the given number so let's put the given number 46 656 now we will start pairing here we have how many digits 1 2 3 4 5 5 digits we have to pair the 5 digits so let's start it from the second one this is one pair and this is another pair. We will leave the 4 as it is because it is perfect square, right? 4 is a perfect square. If we multiply, say, which we will take easy, 2 into 2. 2 are 4. We will solve the 4 here itself instead of pairing. 4 minus 4 gives you 0. Now let's take 66 pair here. 66. Now which number we will take? The first step is we will double the... We will double the... We will double the quotient. How will we double? We will multiply 2 again. 2 2s are 4. We will write here 4. Now we, which number if we take we have to get closest to 66. See if we take 42 it will become more than 66. It will exceed 66. So let's take 41 itself. So 41 into 1 gives you 41 itself. So now let's subtract 41 minus 66 gives you 25. Now let's bring the third, the second pair down. The second pair down. 56. Now, we will copy this 4 as it is 4 here. Because the double of 2 is 4, right? So, we will write here 4. Now, the double of 1 is 1 into 2 gives you 2. So, let us take 2 as the another number. Here we have 2 digits and here we have 4 digits. Now, what will we take? Which number? See, we have to get the, if you multiply with the number, we have to get exact 25,000. Sorry, 2,556. So, we, we, in which number we will get? Now, think of a number. If we multiply, we have to get exact 2,556. Which number, if we multiply, we will get 2,556? We have to think. So, if we think, we will get, we will multiply with 425, 424, 423. If we multiply, we have to get exact number. So, if we multiply 425 with 5, we will not get 2,556. Let's take 6 itself. So, 426 into 6 gives you 2,556. So, we got the exact number. So, if we subtract, we will get 0. So, our final answer is 216. So, the square root of 46,656, our answer is 200. The square root is? The square root of the given number is 216. So, this is our final answer. So, here itself, if you all found it helpful, please subscribe, like and share. Thank you for watching.